Okay, so the next step is uh, preparing your burette with your potassium permanganate, potassium manganate solution, KMNO4. Wash it with your water. You should already wash it once with your tap water. Wash it again with your deionized water, keeping the tap open. Okay, the tap is open when I'm washing. Now, next thing you do is you close the tap. Make sure you close it. Okay, put your funnel on the top. Hold it with your left hand, slightly, hold it up above the top slightly. Instead of having it like that, hold it up slightly. This is to allow air to go in. When you pour, or rather air to come out. When you pour your KMNO4 here, air has to come out. Okay? Just pour a small amount in. Okay, and light it out. Okay. For some of you, you might find a bubble at this stage. If you open the tap very slowly, the bubble will be maintained there. In order to purge the bubble out, simply switch on the tap very quickly and you'll find the bubble is gone. You may now proceed to add more KMNO4 in. Replace the funnel. Again, left hand, prop it up slightly, slightly, and you pour at eye level. Okay, when you get near zero, anywhere between zero to five, stop. You remove the funnel, you need not start at zero, however, try to stop at a whole number, any number is okay. Okay, but in this case, because KMNO4 is dark, dark purple, and you can't see the bottom meniscus, you use the upper meniscus, meniscus, sorry, use the upper meniscus as your mark. Okay, when you're ready, clamp it, secure it. Okay, so after you have clamped your burette on the retort stand, you'll notice that this part of your burette remains slightly pinkish. That's because some of the KMNO4 which is stuck on the wall of your burette is slowly flowing down. And the level of your KMNO4 might increase further. This is why you need to let the solution settle before you take your marking before you take your measurement. Okay, if I can draw attention now to the clamp. These clamps can take a bit of an effort to secure, but make sure after it's secured, it cannot move sideways. It does not move this way. And that it's straight. If it's properly secured, it should be upright when you look at it from all different angles. Okay, and at the bottom, Definitely check that your tab is closed, secured, on the horizontal position and there shouldn't be a drop of your KMNO4 here. There should not be a drop. Okay, so when you're ready with that, you may now proceed to get ready for the next step. Okay, so while in the meantime you wait for the KMNO4 to settle, you come back to your volumetric flask which has your iron ammonium sulfate solution. Okay. Hold on to the bottle with your left hand and I tap it carefully. You prepare your pipette with your pipette filler already in place. Air perched out. And carefully lower it into your volumetric flask. Draw out your solution. Okay. Careful. And transfer that into your conical flask. Carefully remove your pipette filler by holding it, with holding the pipette itself with one hand and gently 
twisting out your pipette filler with the other hand. It should come off very easily and very gently. You allow the solution to come off, come out of your pipette. So after you have let most of it out, you have drained most of it out, you find that there will still remain a drop of your solution inside. The way to remove it is by tapping the bottom of your solution, or rather of your conical flask, tap the bottom of the conical flask with your pipette. And whatever that's left in there is meant to be in there. It is already calculated or rather put into the calculation of your 25 cm cube. So do not try to remove all of it, just remove most of it. Okay, so after you have prepared out 25.0 cm, 25 cm cube of your solution, you need to acidify it with 20 cm cube of your H2SO4. Okay, 20 cm cube, this is just a rough amount, it may not be accurately at 20 cm cube. Okay, and now you're ready for the next step. What you should do first is to check the top of your um, KMNO4 burette. Okay, check the top level of your amount of your KMNO4 solution. In this case, it's around 2.9. Previously, it was at 3.0 cm cube. But now it's at about 2.9 after I've left it for about 5 minutes. This is the figure that you'll start off with. Write it down. This step, in this step, you use your left hand to turn the knob. Okay, while you use your right hand to stir the conical flask. Let me repeat again, if you are a, a right-hander, use your left hand to twist the knob and your right hand to swirl. As you get closer to the end point, add drop wise. Color is still green at this point. Add another drop. And the color has changed. You'll notice that the solution is more intensely colored than before. Previously it was light green and it may appear as a yellowish green now, just before its end point. Okay, add another drop. Give it a sh shake. And you find that the color is different. It's closer to an orange, and this is your end point. The proverbial sunrise coming up over the Pacific end You might think I'm losing my mind, but I will shy away from the specifics Cause I don't